65 million. I will always think of the number 65 million as being the amount of years since dinosaurs have walked the earth. Even though it's been like 30 years that we've stayed on 65 million, but I guess we're just gonna keep just saying 65 and round it off. The number has new significance to me because I had a song get 65 million streams on TikTok. So if you're ever wondering how much that pays, we're gonna break it down, all right? So about a year ago, my buddy Daniel Harmon asked me to be a part of his record that he was making. And we we're just doing like a, a single instrumental track. And uh, I think if you're a musician, you don't anticipate any money ever coming from an opportunity like this. It's like, you just wanna make cool music with your friends, which is really, the overarching point of this entire video and why you want to make music anyways, which we'll get to at the end. But Daniel's the man, super talented guy, so I'm like, yeah, like, of course. I actually uh, documented it, a little bit of it, for a YouTube video where I was kind of just demoing this delay pedal anyways, I'll link you to that if you guys are interested. So, put this instrumental track together, he had a bunch of cool collaborators on this album, and I was like, all right, man, sounds great. Uh, I, the way you collaborate with musicians from a earning standpoint, is uh, if you use like a service like DistroKid to get your music online, you can arrange it in splits. So he was very generous to give me a 50% split on the profits to come from this track through streaming. 50% is way more than I deserve because I barely did anything for this. I just kind of laid some electric acoustic guitar over it. And he definitely did all of the legwork. So props to, props to Daniel, great job on that. But it went viral on TikTok as like a sound, right? So if, if you don't, use TikTok as a creator or whatever. You can attach different sounds to your track, almost like just adding background music. It can be it can be pretty much anything, but for whatever reason, this thing popped off and people started adding it to their videos. Now, this accumulated 65 million spins, plays, however you want to categorize it. But as you can see in the DistroKid earnings here, which you don't get till months afterwards, right? So I was, so I, was, I never thought I was gonna make any money on it because it's like, TikTok is so janky. <laughs> like, it's unclear if TikTok is even like legal from so many standpoints that collecting any kind of royalties from it just seemed very, uh, very sus. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, ended up making $1,500 from this. Uh, so again, remember this is split 50%. So 65 million TikTok spins ends up generating about $3,000, okay? So diving into this a little bit deeper, I come from a YouTube background, right? So I know how much 65 million views are worth on YouTube. I've done YouTube professionally for eight-ish, eight, nine years now. I've got like 80 million views, I think, on my channel total. Basically, YouTube pays out around $5,000 per million views, all right? Spotify is probably a more, uh, a comparison that makes a little more sense because again, these are streams, not like video views. There's, there's a, clearly a difference. I'm not trying to compare those other, other than just like them being social media platforms and what they pay out for royalties and stuff, right? So a million streams on Spotify will generate about three to $4,000 for the artist, right? Because Spotify still takes like their cut from that. Spotify, I think is like 70, 30 cut. YouTube is closer to 50, 50. TikTok is a totally different ball game, right? The way that they monetize your streams also is kind of wild. So check this out. It, you don't get paid per stream. Again, 65 million streams is what they've they've clocked. This is what DistroKid has told us that it has accumulated. You get paid per video that uses your song, right? So that's how that's where the three thousand dollars comes from. Okay, it's not from the total amount of streams. It's from the total amount of videos, right? So let's say two different people put your sound as like the sound on their TikTok video. One of these person's videos gets a billion views or, you know, watches. Another video gets five views. You just earned two streams on your on your song or whatever. Again, am I, what are my thoughts about that? I don't even know, I don't even know what to think about this. It's like, it does make sense to me from a standpoint that, okay, somebody seeing your a video with your song on it for four seconds before they swipe, that's different than someone listening to your song, 
right? Like, I, I do think there's a, there's a clear, a clear difference between somebody going on Spotify or YouTube, searching your song and being there for the content of your song, as compared to your song just being part of somebody's TikTok content. There's definitely a difference there. Now, is it shady that you get paid per video and not per stream? Like, of course that's shady. Everything about TikTok is like super shady from a, from a monetization standpoint. But that was interesting to me that that's how they use it, right? So if you break it down, what does 60, like what does a million views or streams on TikTok earn you? Earns you $50. So $50 compared to on the low end, Spotify, three to $4,000 on the high end, YouTube, $5,000 is, is kind of comical actually. But I mean, just getting 65 million views is like is like an impressive, wild thing. So you know, I, I guess hats off to TikTok for for having the kind of platform that can reach that many people with like a viral sound. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. Whatever, it's like it's cool. I'm more impressed than anything. The distro kid was able to track this money down and deliver it. And what's amazing is like, I saw so I like just fifteen hundred dollars just kind of magically showed up in my DistroKid account a few months later. Now, in true musician standpoint, in a way that like, you can never actually get ahead and make money. The exact same day that I found out I got this money in my DistroKid account, uh, the motherboard on my MacBook Pro crashed a day before I was going on an international trip, so I had to go to the Apple store and spend, guess what? $1,500 on a MacBook Air to use and edit video while I was on the road. So, you know. That which giveth, uh, taketh away. But it is kind of interesting that, you know, there there is money out there. I don't know what the point is as far as like, oh, you guys should definitely put your music on TikTok. Like, no. Are you gonna get 65 million <laughs> views or spins on a song? Probably not, highly doubtful. I think what I'm taking away from this is that it's just important to do stuff with your friends, right? I am so grateful that Daniel reached out and had me be a part of the experience of making this album and when you didn't have to, you know what I mean? And that's like, that's something that I think about a lot. It's like, we all have the capability of being creators on our own. You can just use your iPhone to film stuff, you can use your iPhone to just record stuff. Like any kind of smartphone gets the job done from a quality threshold standpoint. That I think it's very easy to just sit in your own your room and do stuff on your own, right? Getting out there and collaborating with people is the best part about my job as a content creator, about my, you know, career or whatever as a musician. So that's the moral of the story is Get out there, make stuff with your friends. You never know what's gonna happen. Uh, and again, you know, we got this cool physical copy. If you wanna show some love, definitely uh, pick up the vinyl. I think there's still vinyls that you can kinda get on here. Uh, just a super cool instrumental project. If you don't have a record player, which I don't traditionally, check out my other friend's product, the Rock Block. My buddy Logan invented this thing where you just have to put like this flat and then it spins around and transmits it via Bluetooth around the speaker. So check those out because you can pre-order those for the holiday season. But yeah, that's uh, those are my thoughts. 65 million spins on TikTok will buy you a replacement MacBook Pro. So good luck getting that. <laughs> One final question you may have is how did you get your sound to go viral on TikTok? I don't know. I don't really use TikTok. I have no answers for you there. I have no actual answers on how to potentially get any kind of music or piece of content viral. I have no idea how this video is gonna do because you know it's a guitar channel, which means this will probably get way more views than any of the guitar content, or it might just tank. Literally have no idea. That's just how social media goes in 2024. You just gotta take shots and stuff. So if you're out there and you're struggling, just keep taking shots because you too can get paid $50 for a million exposures to whatever content you have out there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my boy Daniel for setting this up. Thank you to my boy Logan for giving me a way to play this record, even though I don't have a record player. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or any further questions about you know monetizing social media stuff, be happy to uh, help you out. Uh, and I will touch you guys soon. Thanks a lot.